guys. Good, it's good. You were? You made it over, right? <laughs> nope, no, nope, all good. Uh, it was alright, actually, yeah, it wasn't too bad. Uh, we'll see tomorrow now when we arrive actually at the stadium whether that changes, but no, all good, all good today. No, um, no, this group is incredibly driven to to come here and, and, and put in a performance. Uh, you know, next week we'll, we'll you know, almost look after itself if we get, if we get, we get, we'll get tomorrow right. That's the big thing that we've spoken about for a long time. We've had a couple of weeks to prepare for this. Um, we know how tough it's going to be and that there's, we're not thinking past uh, tomorrow afternoon um, and we'll make sure that um, we put in the, the performance that, that this needs to, to make sure we get the result and, and then we're, we'll think about next week after tomorrow. I don't think so. I think um, a lot of those guys are, are fairly experienced now and they've, they've got a lot of uh, games under their belt over the years and they've been constantly connected to what we're doing, even though they haven't been always in full training over the last few weeks. So we certainly don't feel like there's any issue there. And, you know, we also feel like we have a very strong bench to uh, to come on and finish the game. Yeah, well planned by the the medics, um, but yeah, I, I think I think we always knew that this, you know, whenever you've gone through a Six Nations, you, you're never likely to pick the same twenty three each week. So we we know that there's always going to be a few things along the way. Um, the great thing is we go to Rome and and we put in a performance that that gets us the the five points, and and Rome is not a not an easy place to go and play. So. Um, credit to the guys that, that took the field there and, and also credit to the guys that, that didn't and were supportive of those guys that did and, and stayed around and were connected and, and you know, it, it, it massively, um, you know, the massive onus goes on the preparation of the team and how that works with the guys that don't get a chance week in, week out. Um, you know, this week's been excellent in that respect in terms of what they've had to, to do to try and get the team prepared and and that was no different in the Rome week. Uh, so, you know, it's 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 great that we have some some senior guys coming back in, um, but we're also really pleased with what what the guys did in Rome and to get the result. Yeah, and Johnny spoke about that. Players spoke about that. Andrew spoke about that. It's a real squad effort. How do you think that happened, Johnny? Players want to play. They want to be in the starting team, but you do get the sense that everybody is sort of pulling for each other. Yeah, it's it's tough when in a you know the competition for places is is only going to get get greater. Uh, but I guess you've just got to be honest with players and 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 make sure that they understand what um, what what we feel as coaches that they need to work on to try and increase their chances of getting selection. Uh, and when they do get selected, uh, and guys did that last week, oh sorry, in in against Italy, when they do get selected, they they take their opportunity and and. You can't ask for anything more than that. Um, you can only pick 15 to start. You can only pick another eight on the bench. But we know that, you know, come the World Cup, we're going to need, need quite a few more than that to to, to, to be successful um, further down the line. So, you know, that is crucial for, for any any team that's successful. It's not always just the 15 or 23 guys that are lucky enough to get selected. It's the guys behind those guys that are working week in, week out and preparing them. It's the guys in the back room, um, you know, the medics and and everyone that, that works behind the scenes to to get the players in great shape. So, I think the players really they 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 understand that and and they get that and they appreciate how much work goes into the preparation that that they get 
to, to go and perform. That's not always been the case. Have you been on teams that not always been like that? No. <laughs> I can't remember that far back. So I'm I'm sure I'm sure there's yeah, certain teams that that's the case, but you know, I think this has always been uh one of those teams where guys can be themselves and, and they can they can speak up if need be and um you know they there's, there's an open forum to, to make sure that, that everyone is heard and, and, and that goes both ways through coaches and players and, and vice versa. So it's uh, hopefully, uh, you know, at the moment it's working for us and we want to, you know, involve as many players as we can, but ultimately we can only pick 23 each week. I guess it's more that, you know, when you've got a couple of guys coming back from, from injuries, there might be a, you know, a couple of ways of um, mitigating anything that, that happens during the week or when we've arrived here. So it's just more of a, of a an opportunity to uh, bring a few guys along to to make sure that you know if we did lose somebody in a, in a, um, a certain position that there's a specialized player ready to step into that position and that's probably always been the case but um you know it, it is an opportunity i guess when it's a short flight over and we do get the chance to to keep as many people connected as we can no no I, i'm not sure exactly <laughs> I think there's a limit on the, the the amount you can have out on the pitch anyway, so we're, yeah. Is there anything to note? Is there any kind of embargo? Well, from my experience, we've gone to Scotland, to Chelsea, and it's, it's been going for them. The triple crown and all, and we all have the hundred caps. You know what all our girls and little guys do? Yeah, it's it, yeah, it's huge for both teams, but, but obviously there's there's um, silverware to play for for both of us. Um, and you know there's there's some extra motivation potentially for for Stuart Hogg with his hundredth cap. You know he's been an incredible player for for Scotland over so many years. Um, you know we have our own one of our own players reaching a landmark. Gary Gary uh, Ringrose making fifty caps, uh, which is no mean feat in today's game. Uh, but yeah, it, there's lots of little subplots throughout the game. Uh, we've got to make sure that we're you know, we're disciplined and. We don't let the emotion and the occasion get to us, and, and we're very um, accurate in what, what we do. And, and I guess that's um, that's a challenge for both teams, making sure that we stay on the right side of the, the referee. And, and uh, like I say, we're, we're accurate, and we don't allow the, the the occasion to get the better of us.